Gabe started with porn at 12. By the time he was 22, he couldn't get it up even for a girl he was really attracted to. That's called erectile dysfunction, or ED, and it used to be pretty rare. For decades, only about 3% of men under 40 had it. But from 2010 on, rates skyrocketed. Now they're up around 35%. There's a reason for that steep increase. Since 2006, it's become very easy to stream free video porn online and access even the hardcore stuff with a few clicks. Effects took a while to show up, but basically the data says more hardcore porn and fewer hard-ons are connected. After all, guys haven't suddenly become nervous about performing. They could get it up okay for porn, just not with partners. And when they quit porn, their erections come back, but it can take months. No wonder! Brain scans show that compulsive users react to porn like addicts react to triggers for cocaine use. And in a BBC3 survey of young people, 14% of all female and more than 30% of all male participants believed they were actually addicted to porn. And there's more! Research showed that watching a lot of porn made users six times more likely to be aggressive in a sexual relationship. No more boners and issues with your partner seem like an awfully high price to pay for internet porn that's supposed to be free. And that's a lie anyway. Free porn is a business. It helps to sell pills to fix your limp dick. It wants you to pay for premium content or sex aids. And it sells your personal data to advertisers so they can target you better. That's why governments need to step in and require age verification for online porn just as with alcohol, cigarettes and gambling. When you turn 18, you can make your own decisions. And you'll have a better chance of enjoying actual, real sex with a partner. Until then, skip the porn, save your boner. For help, go to 